Hey guys, Daisy here we grow again. It's early this morning. It's about 8 o'clock and I came outside last night to spray my garden with some neem oil. It's been probably, I don't know, a good seven days since I sprayed and I noticed that I was starting to get, the reason I sprayed is because you can see I'm getting munchers, <laughs> munching my leaves out. These little buggers, you know, we've still had weather up to 96 degrees some days here. The heat index has been like 110. It's been ridiculous. So these bugs are still out. You know, black spots still out here. Fungus mold is crazy right now. And I just want to show you guys these little green pesky worms. Now, I found one this morning right now. <laughs> He's right here. And this is what they look like. And you want to get them off. Now, my neem oil spray will help to control these guys. I just take them off with my finger or some gloves, pinch them off, get them off your leaves, and put them in some Dawn dish soap in just a, you know, get a cup and put them in that, that dish soap solution so they die and go throughout your plant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I know it's tough, you know, keeping a garden. I have a huge garden. I have pumpkin over here. I have cucumbers, green beans, squash. You know, radishes, more squash, blueberries, blackberries, which I have to fix my blackberry. Look what's happening. And this is okay. It was, well, it's not okay, but it's okay because I'm going to fix it. Um, this was getting black spot and just a fungus disease from this weather. And the pH was really off on this. It was really alkaline instead of acidic. You know, rainwater can make your um, soil really alkaline. And blueberries and blackberries like to stay on the acidic side, about 4.5 to a 6 between the blackberry and the blueberry. Well, my pH was off because of all the rain I've been getting. And then I started getting the black spot. So I'm starting to treat and she's coming back beautifully. You know, she's growing new sets of leaves. And I'm going to trim that up. I just transplanted. And I just wanted to show you guys, you know, things happen. <laughs> They're starting to tear my cucumbers up over here. This is my zucchini which they're starting to get as well. And these are the same things, guys. The little green caterpillar worms, green worms, caterpillars, whatever you want to call them, they're destructive. Look, here's one right here. See where they hide? Get them buggers off of your leaves. I know it's going to be tough coming out in your garden and picking off every single leaf and, you know, looking at every single leaf, but it's really going to ensure that you're getting them little worms out of here instead of just leaving them on your leaves to have a field day <laughs> and you can see they're getting to this one too so how i've been treating i treated last night with my neem oil and it's two tablespoons two and a half tablespoons per gallon of water and then i put it in a sprayer and i spray the top of the leaf i soak them down till it's running off of there the top the bottom the flowers my fruit you want to make sure you're spraying your new fruit you can see my cucumbers are starting to push out and hold their fruit now and that's because of the nutrients i've been giving them i found their happy medium i'm giving them twice a week with a miracle grow nutrient system and then if i don't treat with my neem oil this is what happens you know i start getting diseases little buggies so i stay on a preventative with neem oil every seven days I don't go the 14 because this is what happens. You know, they just, I know I'm going to get bugs. I live in Florida. It's going to happen here. This one's pushing out nice big cucumbers. So I want to protect this girl too. You know, I want to make sure that she's going to keep pushing cucumbers out and just let it rock out. You can see she's pushing cucumbers out from everywhere, guys. And you just let leave them alone. Let them do their thing. These are bush <clears throat> heirloom cucumbers. So they will push out fruit like crazy for you. You don't have to do any trimming, any pruning, no nothing. <laughs> they produce all on their own. And two tablespoons per gallon of water. I want to come over here so I can show you the neem oil that I use. It comes kind of in different bottles. You know, you can find it all over the place. And it really helps to control aphids, white flies, caterpillars, black spot, mold, fungus, blight, and I just want to say, um, there was something in here that stated that you couldn't use it on certain flowers. And I just want to say that to you because I know that it's tough trying to find which ones this works for. So just hang on one minute for me. 
Okay, so do not use on the sensitive flowers. Now, my flowers, I can use it on all this stuff. All my beans, cucumbers, squash, blueberry, blackberry. They're, they're a little sensitive, the blackberry and blueberry. My coleus I spray and my pumpkin I douse. So everything gets sprayed with this. And the only ones you can't use it on that are sensitive are sunflowers. Just use it at diluted strength on sunflowers. I use it on my sunflowers and you can see that they're doing okay. They're not, you know, it's not burning. They're doing fine. I had to treat them because something was getting to them. You can see my little sunflower starting to come out. And just don't use it on, let me see, impatience, flowers, fuchsia flowers, hibiscus flowers, some roses, um, ornamental olive trees, and some carnation varieties without prior testing. So just come in here, you know, say you want to test this flower, this sunflower, take a bottom leaf, something way at the bottom, the last leaf it has. Spray that leaf, make sure 24 to 48 hours it can tolerate it. If it doesn't burn that leaf in or anything or wilt it away, you know you're okay to treat on your plant. You know, if it does burn, try another leaf at diluted strength. Maybe it's a little too strong. You know, this neem oil works really good. It's very strong. It's organic. It's safe around you and your pets. Do not spray it in direct sunlight, guys. I will stress that. It says you can spray this in the early morning. But I find in a couple of hours that sun is going to come beating out. And guess what? it's gonna burn your leaves. So I find the best way to do it is at night, and you can see it really helps to keep my garden clean, pest-free, disease-free, and um, you know, other than that, guys, just stay con consistent on your, on your neem oil spray and do it at night. Don't water at night, just spray the leaves. You know, you don't wanna keep your leaves wet at night, but if you're spraying neem oil, at night that's fine you're not going to hurt anything it's going to be fine it's actually anti-fungicide <clears throat> excuse me so um it'll help prevent with that mold and powdery mildew and all that that usually happens over the night time so i hope that helped you guys in the best way possible i'm going to go take some benadryl my allergy's been crazy lately with this weather guys i'm going to do a video on my watermelon shortly here but I just wanted to show you that these little caterpillars are eating my leaves. So if you're seeing this, you know that it's a little green worm or caterpillar and you got to treat it. Till next time, I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye-bye.